removing the backgrounds from images can be notoriously difficult. And this technique is used in most design styles. For example, taking like a product photo, you, you have that product and then you have the background of the photo that that product was shot with and you remove the product from the background so that you can place over top or behind text and different imagery. This is a super common technique and just sometimes not always that easy. Well, not only is Kittle a design tool with a bunch of in-house elements, fonts, and AI, as well as the image vectorizer, but we have a background remover as well. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to remove backgrounds from your images in Kittle. So I've got a Kittle project open right here, and I just need some picture that I can remove the background of. So I went upstairs after the cat was not very happy with me and took this picture that I believe we'll be able to remove the background of. Boom, done. It's even got all of like his hair and his fur. It did a pretty good job. Sometimes they don't do the best, and I mean, that's to be expected because it, it is a difficult thing to do. I mean, it would be a really difficult to go in and erase stuff, but if you're wanting to remove the background of images that you're taking yourself, just make sure that you're taking a picture where the object that you're trying to be isolated is very, very distinguishable from the background, like you against a white wall or your product against like a white backdrop or a black backdrop, something that's very, very easily distinguishable. Might as well give the AI a a better shot versus rallying against it giving it the most difficult thing to try to remove the background from and then just claiming it doesn't work so i can do something with this i might uh, change my background color here a little little nice little nice orange i can make him black and white do some fun stuff here let's do instrument instrument serif something fun this is not an actual legitimate <laughs> design at all this is terrible but just demonstrating the usage of the background remover could say make that nice and centered <laughs> it's short for terrible <laughs> he is the worst Take that fill color out. Jim Greaves. Cheese. All right, here you go. Group that, group that, and then group these together. Center it. <laughs> He's the worst. He just is. Yeah. Well, just to demonstrate the AI background remover a little more, we could do something like portrait. This is very helpful for like mock-ups and uh, little advertisements and whatnot, or if you're doing something that's collage-ish. This is a perfect example of something that I could very, very easily remove the background of. It's the subject, and then there's the background. There's no tricks. Like, I'm not going to personally find a photo that looks really difficult, like if I was going to try to do it myself, it wouldn't be able to do it, and then just complain that the background remover didn't do its job because, oh, it should be able to, to, to remove the background, but, you know, it's too difficult to distinguish. If I couldn't remove the background from a picture myself, AI might be able to do a slightly better job, but, you know, there are limits. So that's a good example. Let's look up something like coffee cup, boop, right here, background remover. Perfect. See, that's a perfect example of something like get rid of Terra and then put my little coffee cup in there and then I've got a design with the background removed well hopefully this was helpful go try this out yourself you can use images from the unsplash image photos plan panel well that's all for today hopefully this was super helpful you can try this out yourself with images from the image panel again we're linked up with unsplash so anything you can find on unsplash it will be in the images panel try this with pictures that you've shot. Remember to try to use photos where the subject is very easily distinguishable from 
the backdrop. If you're not subscribed, just take a second to hit that subscribe button for us, like this video, and drop a comment if you found this helpful. If you're not using Kittle yet, you can sign up today for a free trial. And if you're on a pro plan right now, we have a link in the description for you to get a discount on an upgraded pro or expert plan. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.